everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two of Sweet Winter from Stamparia. So this is turning out to be a pretty simple album, and part of the reason is I am really enjoying these images and um, having a hard time <laughs> letting them go. So I'm using a lot of the large-scale images, which I don't often do um, on the A side, and then using a more simple pattern on the B side for photos. I usually do um, at least some simple patterns on the A side too, so you can place photos. But the, the large-scale images in this collection are so pretty. Um, I wound up doing a lot of uh, six inch, six and a half inch flaps uh, to accommodate them because uh, I think they're so beautiful. So having said all that, this is six and a half by eight and you're going to score a half inch on the six and a half inch side. It's going to get installed on the right hand side of page two. There we go. And then our pocket is going to be four by nine. Four by nine. You're going to score a half inch on three sides. It's going to get installed on the left hand side of your pocket page. For those of you that are new to the channel, the way I organize projects is into playlists. So search for the brand uh, and or the um, collection and you'll be able to find the playlist. The first video in the playlist is the walkthrough. The second video is the base album build, which are the pocket pages, the cover, spine, and hinge. And then the subsequent videos add the flaps and the designer paper. All my projects are organized that way. And then if you want to look specifically by brand, I have all the Graphic 45 projects um, grouped together, all the Stamperia, Chow Bella, Blue Fern, um, grouped so that you can just scan through those brands if you want. Um, but either way you search, it'll come up. And there's also a playlist that's just base album builds in various sizes. So if you aren't interested in um, making this particular project, there's all kinds of just base album builds from six by six up and some boxes as well. Isn't that pretty? I just could not let this Christmas tree go. So there it is. Okay, so we are gonna need to put some magnets in to keep everything tidy and to keep our inserts where they belong. And I think the, um, I'm just gonna use a single magnet. Um, that's really up to you, but because um, there's not a pocket on the back side of the flap, um, it should hold. Well, I know it will hold. Sometimes, depending on the bulk of this side, I might add two magnets. But I think, whoops, the whole idea with the line is to make sure that the magnet's above it. <laughs> Not following my own rules. There we go. Much better. Oh, by the way, that's 12 by 12 collection pack which is pretty obvious, but I'll go ahead and let you know anyway. Okay. Some glue left behind. Okay, so now let's take a look at the inside. And this is what I have planned for the inside. And then I have an insert as well. I don't want to jinx myself, but I gotta say, I haven't messed up and put a panel down before I got my magnet in so far. Now, of course, that'll happen because I just said that, but hopefully not. Okay. 
Okay. Pay attention to your orientation. Looks right. And I'm going to just test it real quick and make sure it slips into the pocket. And it does. Oh, we're going to do the, the white side. We're getting a little bit of rain here in San Diego. Pretty unusual, but it's good. We need it. Okay. This is from the patterns patterns. Not sure. Uh, I think that's a pattern too, but I'm not positive. There's not very much of it. <laughs> I can tell you that. There's the this color and then the pink, and I wish there was more of it because it helps break up the patterns because that's pretty busy to try to put next to like something like this. For example, okay, now we're going to build a mirror image of this for page two. But before we go there, let me tell you we've got it's page eight, page two. I gotta get them lined up. Sorry, I'm building out of order. So, okay, so there's page three. Page three is going to be the second half of this scene. Where is it? Here. So it's gonna go side by side like this. This will have a pocket down here as well. Okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. Same size, six and a half by eight. Score half inch on the six and a half inch side. Just need a little more working room. And that is gonna get installed on the left-hand side of your pocket page. I, I'm building out of order. You may choose to build out of order. If you do, make sure that your orientation on page four is correct, and it is. So this is gonna get installed right here, left-hand side of page three. And then down here, we're gonna have a pocket, which is four by nine, four by nine, square half inch on three sides. I'm just doing one video for this because they are exactly the same. Well, not exactly. They're mirror images exactly, I guess, would be everything installed on the same side. So and I'm gonna do the same thing on six and seven. Uh, because I'm going to feature another large image that I'm splitting between the two pages. I well, hope you guys enjoy. Sometimes it's really hard for me to cut through these images. And I've, I've heard the same thing from you guys, too, that sometimes you look at it and go, well, where would I, where would I cut this? <laughs> and I get it. Okay, I'm going to put a small pencil mark here. We're going to locate our magnet somewhere in there. Okay. 
can try to get that real quick. Good job. It looks like I did all my trimming pretty good this morning, and that just makes the video go so much faster. So again, uh, for page two and three, the cut list is going to be the same. It's six and a half by eight, score half inch on the six and a half inch side, and one pocket, not uh, four by nine, score half inch on three of the four sides to form a pocket. And then both these pages are going to have a large insert. And I'll tell you the measurement in a moment because I don't remember. So basically, you'll need two of every cut, right? And the insert seven and a half by seven and a half. Oh, is that right? I don't know. Let me double check. I might have pulled some, the insert out of something else. And then this is going to be our pocket liner. I might have to take a quick break and go see who's at my door. I think it's my sister. Dar. Not my sister Debbie from Texas. She doesn't just pop in. <laughs> That's usually a bit more planned. Nala, stop it, baby. Okay, we'll get this last piece and I'll take a break and go figure out what she's barking at. Sorry for the noise. It's the nature of working from home. Okay, now I need to pull this back in. There we go. Okay, so there is our beautiful image across two pages. Um, it does make the album kind of simple. <laughs> I like the images so much. I didn't want to um, disturb them, and so that doesn't go here. It doesn't go on three and four. I think is this seven and a half? Yeah, I think this goes in here. So I think it got taken out, and I think I've got two inserts someplace else. So I made the insert. Yeah, here they are. The inserts a little bit uh, smaller. These are seven by seven seven by seven and I'm going oh I don't want to do that I'm going to use these solid ones here and these are from the eight by eight collection pack and I just did a decorative edge on it isn't that pretty oh I love it love it love it love it very simple but beautiful okay so we're going to move on and I'll save these two for six and seven so that's it for page two and three. Thanks everyone.